name is Karen Hodgson and I'm a director of the Hampshire Physiotherapy Clinic in Sheffield. The clinic specialises in the treatment and rehabilitation of musculoskeletal problems and also neurological problems. Today I'm going to specifically talk about the rehabilitation of strokes. In England, stroke is the third largest cause of death each year and is also the single largest cause of severe disability within the population and approximately 110,000 people each year within England will develop a stroke. This is obviously a huge problem in terms of rehabilitation. Acute rehabilitation for strokes has been addressed considerably over the last three years from the stroke strategy which was developed in 2007, which is primarily for England and Wales. And the stroke strategy has looked at acute rehabilitation in terms of diagnosis, management and early management. You've all seen the adverts on the television saying fast, get patients to hospital fast and the face arm and speech test that it's referring to. All of this has led to a better diagnosis and management of early stroke patients. The issues come when we start thinking about long-term rehabilitation. Many patients these days, when they're treated within hospital, are pushed very much to get up and onto their feet because this makes them functional and independent and able to either go home or into alternative means of care. The problem is, is that the upper limb within rehabilitation, which is also affected by stroke, seems to be forgotten. The upper limb and the lower limb are connected. They're connected via the trunk and therefore any rehabilitation needs to incorporate the whole person. So we're talking about holistic rehabilitation, looking at how the upper limb influences the lower limb and vice versa. All of this needs to be addressed within rehab because how you walk and how you move will influence whether you can actually gain any movement into your arm. How you use your arm can influence how you balance and how you walk. So therefore the upper limb and the lower limb need to be treated together in rehab and addressed that way. Many patients really do want to walk, that's obvious. But if you want to walk, you do also need to look at how you use that upper limb. Many patients will have recovery under their upper limb but will be unable to use it because of the tightness that they're getting in their upper limb due to how they're having to balance over their foot. So therefore, as a physiotherapist, our role is to ensure that we are looking at the patient holistically and treating them holistically. Gone are the days when people should be saying to you, the OT treats the arm and the physio treats the leg. Any therapist should be looking at the patient holistically and treating the patient holistically. Another misconception that we hear around stroke rehabilitation is that you only gain recovery within the first 12 months. And if you haven't gained your recovery within the first 12 months, then this is how you're going to be for the rest of your life. There is now clear evidence that this isn't true. People continue to gain rehabilitation um, changes throughout their life with stroke. Things can happen following stroke that aren't always directly related to having had the stroke. You can develop secondary changes. What this means is you can get changes in your muscles because you're not using them properly, so the muscles can become shortened or lengthened. If the muscles are shortened and lengthened, then it's harder to be able to use that muscle group properly. So you need to, when you're looking at rehabilitation long term following stroke, address the secondary changes that are occurring. What's happening in terms of the muscle length changes and how is that affecting the patient's ability to move? We know through lots of evidence now that our brain and our nervous system is plastic. What that means is it can plastically change. We can adapt our brain and our nervous system to new and novel situations. However, we learn and we plastically adapt our brains and our central nervous systems to what we're doing the most of. So if you, for 24 hours a day, are either lying in bed or sitting in a wheelchair, your brain is going to learn that lying in bed and sitting in a wheelchair is your appropriate movement patterns. It's not going to learn that you've got fingers. It's not going to learn that you've got a foot that you can balance on. So challenging the central nervous system is vital. Making patients work in positions up against gravity, getting patients to be challenged with movements, looking at new and novel movements, that's how the brain is learning and how it is stimulated. If it's not gaining that stimulation, then rehabilitation will not be changing and the brain will not be plastically adapting. It's therefore important that as a physiotherapist, we are all of the time challenging our patients, putting them in new and novel situations and helping their brain to adapt and learn. Our role is to facilitate that learning, to help the patients to develop the learning and the skills that they need to improve and to improve their function. Obviously, you have to be realistic. The amount of brain damage that a patient has suffered following a stroke will affect their long-term prognosis. But in the majority of cases, people can be helped and people can be changed. And it is about challenging that person and challenging the situation that they're in. So rehabilitation needs to be holistic. 
it needs to look at how you can best stimulate the patient, how you can work with the patient to achieve their goals, and most of all, how you can create novel and challenging situations for them so that their brain can relearn, their brain can plastically adapt to their new situation. We can plastically adapt throughout the whole of our lives, so age is not a barrier to this. What is a barrier is if people are not put in those situations. So the important things to remember is that rehabilitation should be carrying on following stroke. You should be looking at the issues you've got and working towards goals that you want to achieve and working with a therapist that's going to help and challenge you into those situations. If you want any more information then please don't hesitate to contact us or have a look at our website www.hallamshirephysiotherapy.com. Thank you.